Space funk. <laughs> and um, with me, I have. <laughs> I'm in Miami. We're doing a special Everybody Hates Chris from Miami. Um, oh, which the, I'm very um... pleased about. Go on. Um, and so you, you can see the, the, the shot. Is that Aaron we can see in the mirror? Yeah. Hey, babe, oh, wave. Yeah. <laughs> wave, space funk. It's cool. So that is awesome. there you go. So it's an interesting, interesting view. Um, so. <laughs> So, yes. how long, I want to start how I usually do, because I, I usually start with how long have I known you now? Yeah, oh God. I've known you now, 2016 was it? I, I was going to say 15, yeah. 15, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. you might think. Oh, what, is it 15, <laughs> 16? That's why I hesitated with the 16, or was it 15 or 16? But, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so, so I'm enjoying Miami a little bit too much. Um, but you've always struck me as you know, it was always clear. I mean, you know, we, we, everyone always comes and speaks to me about persuasive folk. I'll just I'll just jump straight forward to that because um, the work that you did on that album was absolutely outstanding. Actually, I'm wearing the, the t-shirt. T-shirt, he's got it going. Um, Thank you, Chris. But the work you did on that album was absolutely outstanding. Thank and you. it really, I remember hearing the first couple of takes of um, Boomtown Jazz Boom or ja no, um, Persuasive Funk. Persuasive Funk. And when you sort of had the rough idea and then you went back and done the full performance and then Tom, Tom Mason, shout out Tom, um, did the bass line and Jungle Drummer, shout out Jungle Drummer. Yes. Obviously on the beats and obviously we put together by Future T, shout out to Tom. And... I, was, I remember listening back to the tune and thinking, oh my God, my label's not matured now. <laughs> like, there we go. That ties into why it I was. switched the, the, the yeah. name change thing. Too. Yeah, absolutely. And it was like the first full vocal song we had on the label as well. Wicked. Which we, we never really attempted to do. And I was, you know, but I can't... I'm honoured. I can't, I can't ignore the influence of, you know, you know who on that because I was working for him at the time. Mm. So I'm trying not to even reference do, 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 do. <laughs> 2023 we're moving on we're leaving the pain and trauma yeah, in 2022 yeah, somewhere, somewhere lost back there so <laughs> in short what got you into jungle so I thought oh shit took, damn no it took me um, years to realise that what I thought was this drum and bass jungle actually was well I mean obviously it was hardcore I think yeah. um, I was what I think it was like ninety. It was either ninety four or ninety five. I can't really remember. Mm. But I'd been roller skating while visiting my grandparents in England, and the DJ just played something, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I tried for years after that to find this sound that I'd heard while I was skating. I must have been like eight or nine, <laughs> and it wasn't really until I was about fourteen, fifteen, and about ninety eight, ninety nine. Mm. Some friends from school back in Miami yeah. played a few different albums all at once, but I think I can't remember who it was first, but it was LTJ Bookham, yeah. Marky, and then Ronnie Size, and whichever one he played first, all I know is the moment I heard the drums, I was like, that's, fuck, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for it. That's so, I mean, I'd like to say for as long as I can remember, but um, <laughs> it's been a while. You know how I do. No, but it's been one of those things where it was. Um, yeah, I guess officially once I've realised what it was since like 98, yeah. 90... So you've been in the game a long time? No. Well, in it was the first proper gig was thanks to the Bass Drive crew. Um, Shout out Bass Drive. Bass Drive. We, um, never, we never quite got it together, did we? Oh. We, we had the conversation. Sorry, not to make it about me, but... <laughs> I mean, it is your, 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 it is your interview. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. But it's just a quick, it's just a quick aside. Because I always wanted to do, I, I wanted to, but they, at the time, whoever was head of program at the time, uh, wasn't on board with me playing non-drum and bass. 
because I said I want to be able to play on drum bass and they said mm. they, and they, they weren't on board with me then. and that's absolutely fine that's the ethos that obviously didn't work out so yeah yeah I was always gutted to not do that show but I should have probably just done the show and just kept drum bass and who knows what my life fucking doesn't matter anyway <laughs> so, try again bass drive this is where you got your first... So it was 2008 when I had my first, like, official gig. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd been practising and going to events and shit for ages before that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, I, it's actually helped me remember how uh, long I've actually been doing this. <laughs> you don't really remember how long? in the moment of it. Well, it's been over th- 13... Well, for- what, 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 Since I've been doing it, no, I'm just asking you a question. Like, you're, you're oh, sorry, anyway. How long have I been doing what? No, how no, long have I been been doing it? I'm old. No. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sophie. 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 <laughs> yeah, that was that was totally awful. It was. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, you just blanked, mate. Sit down. Sixteen oh, years, you know. Just sort of just blanked it. But anyway, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good, mate. Um, <laughs> I really should just do the math. I just did two thousand eight, but still, I'm a lazy bugger. <laughs> so it's been so two thousand eight. Mm. So professionally uh, uh, involved, yeah. So that's um, oh god, can you someone do the math? Okay, eighteen. I said like an American as well. Didn't 15 I? years. 15 years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, I said 16. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> anyway, 15 years. So you started off as an MC or did you go straight into... Because I actually don't know this because I don't think I ever asked you. Really? Yeah, because I can't remember because what, what was it? Because it was it you started off as an MC? I started off as a vocalist, vocalist and then I realised people around me were kind of pushing... The, uh, as singing over tracks and then singing along to DJ sets like with stereotype, shout stereotype. Um, Stank Love Crew, hey. No, um, <laughs> that kind of turned into, I feel like people are a bit bored of me just singing over the right, one hour right, set. Right. Yeah. And I had also been involved in some of the hip hop, like local Miami hip hop yeah. um, scene down community. here. So yeah, the community, thank you. Mm. I couldn't find the book. <laughs> and um, I used to cipher and practice with a load of the heads down here. So yeah. like um, Infinite Orion. And what, you literally stand street corners? And... Literally, well, I'd go to breakdancing events or right. like house parties and that. And you know, the backpack rappers, all those people right. would be getting together. And then people, I had a few of the people would drag me in and be like, no, we're going to build you up. Yeah. You need to be involved in this. Because yeah. I had sang for a few tracks like when I'd, first got into actual some sort of professional music I was it was about 2003 2004 I was with a jazz fusion band oh, yeah I remember you telling me this actually yeah, yeah. and then yeah. from there the jazz the drummer from the jazz fusion band was doing some production for Baby Bam of the Jungle Brothers right okay so I recorded a couple of things for Baby Bam and it was actually, yeah, it was from there, those were the hip-hop heads I ended up getting involved with from, like, that would come to the events. And so from there, yeah, I dabbled and people were pushing me to rhyme and I realised I just needed to rhyme as well yeah. at these events to keep it a bit interesting. Yeah. And I mean, over the years since then, I'll say, after last night's performance especially, <laughs> I, I don't... I had a couple people say they don't really recognise me from who I was all that time <laughs> ago, and you don't think about what is that, is that in a good way. Yeah, you're right. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, just checking. No, it's a know. very valid question. Yeah, so make sure. No, because it was so, someone yeah, I used to rap with in high school. It was someone I used to rap with in high school, yeah. Prism, mm. and um, he was out not too long ago, and we had a little session just before last night's event yeah. or whatever, sometime last week, and he did. He turned to me. It was just like. Well, we used to. You didn't sound like that. You did. You kept. You actually kept. You kept going this time. Mm. I'm like, well, I'm not. I'm not 17, 16 anymore. And you got your bars now. <laughs> kind of been practicing a bit, thing. So, <laughs> where is the Sophie Mari? Because this, this. So I'm gonna call you out just I know. straight. Like, because basically, <laughs> I've been saying for years, Sophie, that she should have, like, her own project like out and done dusted and you know i'm not going to say any more than that because <laughs> but i love you <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but i just feel like 
it should have happened by now. And I feel like... I do agree. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated for you in terms of, like, what do you think... Because I don't think... Because I know it's not you. So do, do you think there's not a label out there <clears throat> that would be prepared to, you know, to, 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 to manage a project like that? Or what do you think's the... Honestly, I as much as I don't want to sit here and say it, I know that I've gotten in my own way and overthinking too much and trying to plan this, trying to plan all this stuff ahead when really it's not about planning shit, but, oh, can I swear? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about planning, it's actually sitting down, doing, and getting it together. Yeah. And I've been so comfortable just getting single tracks sort of down because yeah. it's just one or two tracks yeah. and then I can go back to my work and regular life and everything like that. But at the same time... I do kind of find it interesting that you do. I knew you would ask, but I also, you know, yeah, been talking just... and kind of. <sighs> How do I put it? It annoys me. Well, I, I can understand why it would, but I have been with the mindset now because I've just moved again, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in California now, and in the process of I think getting the studio together and getting used to my surroundings in terms of, okay, this is home, this is my studio, this is yeah. my bit, mm. um, I'll be able to actually sit and focus more on it. Because everywhere I have been, I have also been consistently going out to other events and doing all this other stuff, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's one thing when you so, I also think I've been emceeing and hosting parties so much that I I feel, I know I'm probably being too hard on myself, but I feel that I need to get back in that studio and build that back up. Yeah, because I was going to say, but you, you, you might still do all this travelling, but do you not still feel like you should have a... Oh, I should have had an album out a, a years notebook. ago. No, I mean like a notebook and just be writing, like I just have trying a... to find write new stuff all the time on your phone or... I do now, I've started getting yeah. into my phone. I have a book bag full of <laughs> lyrics from since I was 13. So I have all of I've got... I thought that would be torturous. Yeah, it's not It's one of those, but... Um, no, I mean... On the be... next edition, we're going to get those books and go through them. Oh, that, that, would be, that would be hilarious. Oh, God, anyway. no. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Some would be good. Some would be... No. Some would be serious, no. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I mean, I haven't really been... Last night's gig was the first gig I've had live since Sun and, since Prague, after Sun and Bass, which is a few months. Which still, they haven't booked me ever, either. But anyway... Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's definitely a... You've got a big boy things, I think. <laughs> I, I, I just... Yeah, I just... I, think, I just think there's people yeah, powers that be that just... Oh, that's why I called this podcast Everybody Hates Chris. Why, do you hate <laughs> why does everybody have to hate you, Chris? They don't hate me, but <laughs> I just sometimes feel like there's certain things that go on in the scene, and I'm just like, oh, I'm not involved in this. I'll just be honest and a bit I drunk. I love you, mate. So I'm just being a bit, <laughs> I'm being a bit petty. <laughs> oh, just, uh, <laughs> you're killing me. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I've got... I mean, I've got a couple of things I've been working on. I've still... I guess I'm going to send you the stuff that we started from when I went back in bloody November. Yes. Now I'm settled. Now I'm where I am. I can actually get on that. Good. And outside of that, I've ha kind of been thinking of telling myself to kind of stop, start telling people, look, unless I'm doing three or four track project, at least an EP or something. Yeah. I don't really want to do just one or two no, on tracks yeah, anymore. It shouldn't be. Because it's not just you that's been on my case about this. Yeah. And there's other people. And I think I've just been so in my own head, which, guys, don't ever do that to yourself. It's just not good, it's not good for you. Yeah. But, I mean, I get it. I think I've let too many other things distract me and get me in the way. Well, get get it, in the way. It's, 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 it's what happens. But I think you've just got, sometimes you've got to just allocate the time. Yeah. Just but, I mean, it's also, yeah. you know, in terms of the labels as well, I think I've also been really picky. I want to make sure that I'm with someone I'm comfortable with. And Absolutely. basically there's two in mind right now that I would really want to do it. And and the other one is the person who's also hounding me, and I promise you, I'm going to get there. <laughs> but you see, there's, there's there's probably a story you could do it with both. But you know, that's like, what I, ideally. I'd yeah, like to I mean, but but ultimately, you know, it, it's it's just, it gets, just one of them has to happen. Mm. You know, um, it, it doesn't matter who. Um, but my thing is too. I would also like, especially when it comes to an album and a, and, and uh, even just like a decent length EP. I would ideally like to make sure that I'm doing something because I don't want to just. Please forgive me, guys. Everyone's going to be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> um, 
I don't want it to be solely drum and bass. I no. want some lo fi yeah, stuff in there. I want I some more jazzy stuff. I don't that's where I feel like my heart is yeah. heading towards. Yeah. I'm always drunk this. We're always drunk this. You can't really escape D M B can you? <laughs> no, but I think it's such a great vehicle for what your sound is and, yeah. and, and like you know, it's always been a great marriage between you and so many people that you work with and mm. that's why it's always been you've been so successful in that in that field. But I totally I mean, we had that conversation. Well, yeah, we had the conversation. And there were specific beats you showed me. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> like, actually. Yeah. No. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, but I think, I, think, I think it's something that, you know, I'm sure we'll get to work on together at some point in the near future. And, and if, if not, you know, it'll be you doing it with someone else or whatever. Yeah. I, I just, well, it's ideal planning and focus is what yeah. I need to do. And I've had my yeah. fingers dipped into so many different projects and things with other people. And because I don't produce myself, which I really should do, but... I think that hasn't helped me either. I, I don't think it's. Not, I don't think it's you necessary. Sometimes you send stuff to people and you never hear back from them. God, yeah, but I, 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 but I think I don't think it's. Ne- I don't think it's necessary for you to produce yourself. But I think, but I do think it might be um, useful after what I was saying. You know, earlier on with Mo. Mm. Um, you know, because it would be good if you could learn to produce. That's fine. That's a separate thing. Yeah. But in terms of your, you it's know, another distraction right now, though. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it potentially, it could be, and and I think that if you're able to just use Ableton just to maybe get an idea down, just type, you know, type, uh, play something out, or just loop something, whatever it is, just to get something going that gives you or sparks you an idea. Yeah. Then yeah, I think that's something you could do. I think that's something you should definitely consider. I mean, ideally, I remember when we were in that session that we you. you you'd start building that track. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, I was looking at it and I was just thinking, yeah. oh, you've seen so many people do this so often. Like, yeah. It's really not, you do know what you're doing, you're just sitting there yeah. getting, and getting in my own way. I think, I think, I think you'd probably, um, you'd probably find it'd be a lot easier to, you know, just go, just, I don't know. Get I mean, up and I, do just it. Do, I think you should do it. I think, I think, you know, because, uh, you know, I've, I've heard people tell me, you know, oh, well, you know, the GUI is, the, the way Ableton or Logic or whatever works, it's too technical, or whatever, whatever. But then I know, you know, loads of female graphic designers that use you know, Photoshop and, do you know what I mean? Like, so I don't really understand, but maybe the workflows, I don't know, it's all Premiere, and you know, it's, you know, it's women editors and stuff. So I, I don't understand why with music, there's this, <laughs> there's this like block. gap, yeah. Well, certainly in drum and bass, because there seems to be women in other genres making other music. Oh, all sorts of change, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I mean, like, I look at women like Amber Navan from Moonchild. Right. You know what I mean? I absolutely love that band. And she produces all that shit. She does all of it. I mean, they are the band nerds, very clearly. Right, but, yeah. I mean, it's... I but look at... Sure. I aspire to something like that, you yeah. know what I mean? And, obviously, how? why would that not go into drum and bass as well if I were to I get to the production side of things? I mean, I think it's something that you should mm. really consider. I mean, it might... But I think your your main focus would, would have thought would have been writing. Yeah. I mean, so, lyrically, I, I, yeah, just sitting back down, I have been getting back into that a lot more. Yeah. And I, there was a bit of a, I don't know, you know, these last three years have been a bit mental for everybody, and I've been <laughs> yeah. bouncing around for so much. I can't sit Ugh. here and, it's not an excuse anymore. It's not. But I'm really glad because within the last six months, I have been, since I got back from the last trip to England. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, was was it November? No, no, no. Uh, November? No, 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 no. That was June. So June, rain, July. June, June, June. What am I talking about? September. <laughs> well, yeah, because you come over Sunday. Sunday, in Prague. So yeah. since September, I kind of took a step back and just decided I needed to not even stress myself with having to worry about writing or dealing anything with music. I just wanted to kind of get the move sort of down yeah. and dusted. And yeah. since I've gotten over there, I have been writing a little bit more. I yeah. started picking up some of it. So. It, it is happening in terms of I haven't left that alone anymore I waited a bit too long but I think I also needed to not beat myself up so much about you know I had I, oh, I feel like I lost the why it was just oh do 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 why am I doing it right, okay. what am I really going to get from yeah, this what am yeah. I really wanting to give out and put down would you, would you feel like you, you need to have a concept to maybe put a basic project around or... ideally I'd like yeah right. that I was so into my own head where it's like no if I'm going to do something it's got to it's got to have this it's got to have that and I, I can't be so insanely particular it'll never get done and that's why right, now okay. I'm like okay no think of concepts stop saying yes to absolutely everything that comes your way yeah. and just do yeah. that so that's why this year for me I feel like is going to be a bit of finally 
having to set my own boundaries and focusing on one thing. Yeah. Especially the writing, at least. Getting the concept down of what uh, my body of work would be in terms of a few tunes put together. Well, I mean, it's, it always amazes me when, you know, I work with different vocalists. I mean, you know, I'd be fortunate to work with a few, good few, mm. as you know, amongst, your, amongst yourself. Um, but, well, I think a few, a few now. <laughs> but on. it always amazes me how sort of like, you know, I suppose it's the same way you're saying, you know, I was able to make a tune really quickly. You know, I've, I've seen people sit and write lyrics, you know, or, or start a rap or whatever, you know, while I'm making a beat and it's just like, what the hell, you know, like Booty, you know, he's a yeah. friend of mine, you know, he does it all the time, he starts writing lyrics to the beat I'm doing, like, you know. Yeah. And it was just, it was just coming out of you, you know what I mean? But it's, I guess it's all that sort of creative urge and just creative spirit. Let's just put it this way. So Friday, um, obviously, because I'm visiting now and just getting some last minute bits before yeah. heading back, I, um... That's not, go ahead. So yours? Yeah, but go ahead. Oh, no, no. No. Um... So Friday, I was telling a mate who is a local singer down here, yeah. um, Lula Rios, lovely lady. She um, hey, told me she was having a show, and it was her first show. She's um, more popular down here for being in an electric Latin funk. Excuse me, a Latin funk band called. Um, oh my god, Electric Pika! No, that's not Electric Pika. <laughs> I'm getting my bands confused. <laughs> Elastic Bond. Sorry, so. <laughs> Elastic Bond. Ah, uh, Elastic Bond's the name of the band, and. She was doing something for the first time, some of her own solo work, stuff that she'd gotten done through pandemic. Right. And when I told her, I'm coming through, I want to support, I haven't seen you in forever, yeah. she's like, come up. Yeah. And I went to the rehearsal the night before the event, and I'd had some stuff written down, but I just couldn't quite get into the flow of it while I was by myself. In that rehearsal, I got all the bars I needed down. Because you had the music and around that's, you. I'm realising too, yeah. it's like, I think it was what I was saying to you all that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being in the studio, being in that physical, like last night when yeah. we were at the gig, yeah. I don't have time to be in my head and thinking, oh, what are you going to say? What's going to happen? How are you going to present? How? It's just, mm. you've got people to entertain right now, so <laughs> entertain them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my biggest thing, I have to admit, is when, and I know so many other artists feel this, Get out of your head. Get don't, and I don't mean get pissed or whatever. I mean, like, <laughs> get out of your own way and well, stop thinking I mean, so hard about everything. Whatever works, you know what I mean? No, that's yeah. true too. No, no, no but I don't, no, obviously I don't advocate overuse of alcohol. So I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, honestly, it's one of those things where, you know, as an artist, you're continuously growing. You're always a forever student. You yeah. never... I don't, th if you are an artist and I think you think, oh, I've, I've reached my peak or I've reached mm. this, I'm like, no, you've, <laughs> you've clearly got some more studying to do. There's always going to no, be something. No, there's always something more. And, and it's like what I've been learning with all the productions I've been doing recently. Mm. It's like, you know, my standards have gone up and up and up and it's just like, let's keep it going, okay? And, well, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit conceited, but it's just, you know when you're starting to get better, you know when you're starting to grow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, the perfectionist side of it and the whole, it, there's so many things that y you can let get in the way. Yeah. That it's just like, what, what, what for? And I, I really feel like moving forward, especially, because I've had some really, really great experiences. I know, you've been performing over the at years. Sun and Bass and, you know, you played for V and all these different I mean, it brands. was lovely. And I, oh yeah, 30 years of V this year. Hey, yeah. people. But, um, you know. <laughs> It is. It's just one of those things where I've figured, stop worrying about so much. Just yeah. make the move forward. So yeah. moving forward, I'm, I'm aiming to get a couple solid bits down. I've been getting my writing in. I have my ideas of who I will be doing that with. <laughs> and then, I mean, that's what I'm sure plenty the, the, of people the, the, out there the, know. the previous offer may have been rescinded. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so you might have to well, talk go on, to... I have to go to the other one then. You have to talk to... Talk to a huh? HR department. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll be calling your son tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you know what I mean, Chris. It's just one of those things where I think I'm I just want to see it happen. Doesn't I don't care who with, but I just want to see it happen. You need to have, you know, find a producer that you can work with or has got a lot of music that you can, you know, sort of like you know bounce off and, and, and feel motivated by well that's the thing yeah i need the trust mm. and i want the, the liberty of being able to just experiment and not have to feel like oh but it doesn't quite sound good enough for this <laughs> or that no ah 
Of course I want my stuff to sound good, but I also don't want to get stuck in one. No more rabbit holes. No more rabbit holes. <laughs> no, I don't really. Well, you know. It might, I mean, you could just do like LSD and just like, go down a... <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I can only begin to imagine what I would have written. You're going to oh. get going out of Beatles. Never ask it again, ask it never again, ask it never again, ask it again. <laughs> don't know. It's worth it. Magical mystery tour? Well, yeah, I just think... I'm, t- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start recommending that to people because I just, you could just do acid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> I don't know, my girlfriend, my girlfriend left you, my left me, I don't know, what am I going to do? <laughs> do? Do acid? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't do acid at all, no. but I just like the idea of telling people to Get the it. response you get half the time? Um, Chris, I, uh, mm. or, yeah, have you got anything else? <laughs> yeah, you just you just either acid. way. Yeah. Either way. Uh, I'd be fine. I don't know. So, <laughs> what, <laughs> so, would you say that what would you say you want to try and focus on this year? Because that, that was a good question that um, Mo asked me, actually. I'm going to pinch her a question. Shout out, Mo. Um, what would be the focus then this year, then? What are we, gonna, what are we, what are we, what are we doing on planet Sophie? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think creatively the um, goal really is to focus on getting some of the writing that I am doing set done in a bit more of an more of a what, was the, what am I looking for get my writing done and at least get a couple of EPs that I don't want to this year not so many fucking singles how about that no singles alright that's a good start yeah. this year try, get myself I've got one EP out yeah on focus with set to be a miss you dude hello Sam um, and I mean I want to kind of go around that that route take that route I think you could do one song a week like easily right, I well, could you know and I mean, if I want it to be quite, one song should be. Okay, so if you could do one song a week, then easily, mm-hmm. so what, you could do two? I think I probably could do two. Okay, so then that's like... As in skeletons so in of two, tunes. two months, you've got enough songs to start an A&R process, if you, if you kept to that yeah. schedule. That's so, a good shot. Because yeah, I'll be honest, I mean, it's very blatantly obvious right now. I, I haven't thought any yeah. of it through fully yet. Yeah. I've just and there'll be ones that you already have already that you could put in the pot. Mm-hmm. But like you, that's that's sixteen tracks with a few others, maybe maybe twenty two, twenty three, mm. and you pick your best fifteen and you pick your best twelve. Yeah. And that's an album. So no, like, just go from there. Yeah. That is a good shout. I mean, you know what, Chris, you're actually helping me brainstorm right now. Thank you, because. <laughs> That's what I do. Do you know what I mean? It's like a just... beautiful thing. <laughs> Go on. I help create tips. Create. Oh, barely say it. It's been creative. up for too long. I help creatives create. I need that to be time stretched. I'm gonna try and do that. I think you should. Yeah, creative. Creative. Because I mean, I do. I have a couple of things in the works right now, but again, they are singles. They're just stuff that I. Anything you can mention? Not. Anyone you can mention? Um. No, unfortunately. What about, I mean, I guess I can say one, one's a bit more underground, one's a bit more overground. Okay. And that's all I can say. That's all you... <laughs> one's going to have a video, I believe, for it, which I'm really excited about because those are always fun. I really like the concept of having more visuals with your tunes being released. Or oh, doing do videos? Yeah. Oh. I like, like the one I did with um, the one <laughs> taller one I managed to, hey, how you doing there? <laughs> This is great. <laughs> Perfect summer. I love how Toller and I. Um, excuse me. Uh, love how, <laughs> Perfect summer was done. Sorry. It's sorry. Two totally different sides of it. It's so funny because Aaron doesn't realise. <laughs> he's the on the time. camera the he's whole time. He's on camera the whole time. <laughs> And he's like, so he's hiding and that stuff, but like everyone's gonna see it. It's just been really funny to me because I'm like, I wonder when he's gonna realise he's just in the shop. And it's just like, but. That's, I, I love it. This is this is what it's about, kids. It's about the rawness. It's about the realness. Real, raw, and <laughs> proper. About, That's what I'm talking about. It's about a hotel room in Miami with a camera worryingly pointed at a bed. Like, so... <laughs> and I, I agreed to this. I agreed. <laughs> you can hold out your driver's license. <laughs> Sign here. <laughs> oh, God. It Anyways. was as soon as we walked in. He's like, I know it's a bit. Yeah, I know as well. Don't try, but like, but honestly, we could. Uh, I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Chris. <laughs> oh 
Right, okay. Okay. Woo! Okay. We good? I don't, don't want to get me too. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. Well, look. So, mm -hmm. when are you over in London? That's the other thing I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Okay. I mean, I have been in talks with a few people. It's probably going to be around September time. September next year? This year? Yeah. Probably. Okay, I'm right, going right, to aim for it to be right. a bit sooner. No, that's all right. No, that's all right. But it's looking like September ish. All right, no, that's, that's probably all right. Because then, so then what we'll do, because I know you push for time. So, what we'll do, I think I'm going to leave it there because I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> when you come over to London, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it properly. Okay. Okay. Um, he wants to talk to you. Because <laughs> that was a great conversation. Please. That was this. good. Anyway, I really do. Want cheers, to. mate. Thank you very much. Thank That's you. Beautiful. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs>